Welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fill out the icebreaker assignment and turn it in on Google Classroom. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your Google Classroom. Uh, this is Visual Arts 4th Hour I'm using for an example. And you're going to want to go to Classwork. When you scroll down, you're going to look for uh, Hello Icebreaker which is the assignment we're going to go over. I want you to click on it. And I want you gives you a brief description in this area here. I want you to scroll down and click on this document here. And the very first thing I want you to do when you open the icebreaker assignment is I want you to go to file and then go down to make a copy and then click entire presentation. And what we're going to do is I'm going to change this to your name here and I'm going to hit OK and that's going to automatically create your own copy of the assignment. And once you create your own copy, you will be able to edit and change it to the way that you wish. Okay, the first, this first page is giving you an introduction to the assignment. It's got my little bitmoji. On the second page, I designed this this icebreaker to be uh, some uh, familiar. In the social me using the social media designs on the web and on your phone to make these activities. This first page is basically like a Facebook profile I created for you. And if you click on the blank spaces, just like the worksheets we've done, you could start typing your answer. You could also change go up and change the text text size here and the font choice here if you want to use something different over here I want you to put um, your name and down here if you have a nickname you can add that as well and in this profile picture area you could place a photo of either yourself or you could find one from the web and for this demo I'm going to find one from the web so I'm going to go up to my toolbar and go to insert images and then I'm going to go search for web and I'm going to search a sunflower hit enter then I'm going to find a photo of a sunflower that I want I'm going to go with this one. Once you find your photo, you just click and drag it over. And then scale it down. By clicking on the, the bounding box around the image, you could scale it down. This little blue box above will help tilt the image if you want it tilted. Okay, and then for this spot, these spots here, just asking you a few questions, tell me a little bit about yourself, so forth and so on. The next page is your TV and movie watch list. In this big box here, I want you to put your favorite favorite TV movies and shows, and down on in the on the bottom here, in the five different spots. I want you to put uh, pictures of the shows that you've seen recently. So let me give you an example how to do that. And there's two ways to find a image that you're looking for. I'm going to go up to the search engine and I'm going to look for uh, My Hero Academia. I'm going to see if I could find an image that I like. Uh, so far I'm not too much of a fan of any of these. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to go up to my tabs up at the very top of my browser and I'm going to hit the plus sign. And it's going to open up a new Google search. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to search my hero academia. I'm going to hit search. And then up here below the search bar, I'm going to go to images. And I'm going to find an image that I like. And I think I like this first one. It's got the name and the characters in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the image so this box pops open. And I'm going to look for copy image, which is about halfway down this bar. I'm going to click on copy image. That's going to copy that to my clipboard. And then I'm going to go back to my assignment. And then I'm just going to right click again. It's going to bring up this, this box. And I'm just going to paste. And that's how you get uh, another another way to get an image through the web. I'm going to scale it down so it fits in the box. Make it big. Okay, so I got one of my favorite shows right there. I can look for something that I've watched currently. Um, let's see, I watched uh, Korra, The Legend of Korra, Korra, find an image that I like, this one's not bad, I bring it over, drop it in, scale it down, then I'm going to try to fit it in these boxes down here. Now it might not fit it in there perfectly, but it's there. So that's the the second page the second page of this activity. The next page is your musical playlist. So I want you to put just like the Netflix page, I want you to put your favorite uh, artists and songs in this big gray area. And then down here is anything that you've listened to recently. So I'm a big fan of uh, Imagine Dragons. It's a little older, but I still like the music. Uh, so this is a couple images of the band. I don't know if I like any of those, so I'm going to go to up to my navigation bar here. And as you can see, I'm still in the image search section. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Imagine Dragons here. And it's going to search for images for me. So let's see, I like this. I think I like this one or this one. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. Just like before, I'm going to have my cursor hover over the image. And then I'm going to right click and go to copy image. And then I go back to my assignment and then I'm going to hit uh, right click again and then paste. So I have my first music, musical band that I like. So I'm, this is one of my favorites from long ago. I'm going to fit it into the box okay, like so. So that's just a couple ways to give you an example. The next page is your. I want you to fill the 15 boxes with your favorite apps from uh, your phone or like apps that you use all the time. And then if you run out of room, I want you to put uh, pictures of the things that you like. So let's first let's let's search up an app. So let's go to Twitter. And then we're going to find a Twitter image that we like. And we're just going to click on it, drag it, and drop. Then we're going to scale it down so it'll fit inside a box. So something like that. Just kind of place it over the top of the box, like so. And then, okay, so we say that we filled the whole screen with our apps. We want to 
And we have a couple boxes left. I'm going to start putting in things that I like. So let's see. I like uh, cats. So I'm just going to search cats. Uh, and I'm going to find a picture of a cat that I think is cute. See, I like this one here. So I'm just going to click and drag it. And I'm going to scale it down so it fits in the box. I can also crop the image too. So if I select the image and I right click on it, I could crop the image down too. So if there's a uh, space that I can cut. So I just want to do like maybe the face of the cat. I can uh, crop it with that bounding box. And once I'm done cropping the area that I wanted, just hit enter. And it creates that image that I want. And make, try to make it fit in the box the best I can. And then that's how you do it. The next page is uh, your favorite games. And this can be video, video games, app games, board games, card games. It could be sports. Um, for example, if I wanted to put in hockey, I could find a picture of somebody playing hockey, or I could do a clip art to make it look like more of a cartoon, and I could pick one of these images and drag it to the area here. And then down here I could put things that I played recently. So like say I played Minecraft or Fortnite, I would put it down here. And then the dark purple square is going to be your console or favorite device you like to play on. Now if you like sports, you can put the um, field or uh, arena that you play in. Court, arena, rink, whatever suits your suit your uh, your tastes and then the very last page is uh, an Instagram page here I just want you to place your uh, it could be either four pictures you took over the summer or just uh, four of your favorite pictures and the last thing you're gonna wanna do is when you're finished with your icebreaker assignment you're gonna wanna go to your classroom and for this this demo I'm going to use my dummy account which is Home STEM Academy. And I'm going to go to my classroom and I'm going to go to classwork. I'm going to find the assignment that I got to turn in. So I'm going to go down to students that need device list here. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to go to view assignment. And this is how everybody's assignment should look like when you go, go to turn something in. You're going to see this up in the right uh, top corner of your screen that says your work assigned. And how you attach it is you go to the add to add or create and you get a couple different options. Since we were working in a Google, pro, uh, Google system, uh, we just click on Google Drive here. And you can find your project in the drive that your Google Drive. Usually, if you just get done finishing it and you're turning it in, it should be one of the first uh, assignments that you see. You can click on the one that you're turning in, and then you just hit insert. And then a after it attaches, all you want to do is hit turn in, and that's how you turn it. You uh, do your icebreaker assignment and turn it in.